They added Bowsette to CTGP7, a Mario Kart 7 mod pack. This mod was created by Mad Dog. Today we're using the standard combo, and we're playing the 250cc Bullet Bill Cup. It's certainly been a while since I've done one of these showcases, and I'm happy to be back. A lot of mods have been coming out recently, so expect a lot more Mario Kart 7 content. I'm happy that there's so many more mods coming out, because I love showcasing these. Here we go. I think this is a Crash Bandicoot-themed track. I feel like I've played this one before, but it says I never played it. Right off the bat, good voice lines. I know the... I know the voice lines, I think, are from DS, I remember... ...seeing Mad Dog say. If I'm wrong, let me know. But the model looks really good. You could tell that a lot of effort went into this right off the bat. I like the attention to detail that the crown was kept the same as like the other character models. What is happening? I almost hit that. This track is confusing. But as well, I like the custom like cart details that the cart is multicolored that is like really cool they started doing that in eight deluxe i know with like the booster course pass i do think this model came out really well with like the light blonde hair it looks nice it looks like it's an official character which is really interesting how, like, polished the model looks. And, like, all the textures and stuff are great. I didn't get to see the emblem yet. I'm sure I'll see that when we get to a track with a glider section. Since I don't think this track is a glider section. That's so easy to wipe out. It's so easy to wipe out there. But overall, I'm liking this mod so far. This is the first time in a while I've covered a meme character, so... That's fun to do again. I think... I don't think I've covered a meme character. Unless you kind of count Star Fox in a way, but not really. Unless I have done one, but... It's really interesting, and... It's nice to see uh, a safer approach taken to this. but And that's good because that means I'm able to make a video on it. <laughs> because the Bowsette meme wasn't so appropriate. But this character... Like, the models... And I gotta say, Mad Dog, the more mods you release, the better and better the quality gets. And I really admire that. With, like, starting, you had Pauline and Peachette, which were already amazing. And then Dayzette, and then a step up with Rosette, and now this, Bowsette. I can't wait to see what you do next. This was also a really good track. I hope you get, a. Uh, track with the a glider so i can get a good look at the emblem that is glitched we found a glitched track everybody that is great <laughs> for a second we got to see if the front of the model which you normally don't see unless you're in like a like a regular screen the music slaps which now you can hopefully hear the music due to me fixing so much stuff with my computer. Some of the things I changed is I actually switched operating systems. This has nothing to do with the gameplay, but I switched to Opera GX the day before filming this. It was ironically the day that the really laggy Mario Kart, uh, what was it? It was the Mario Kart 8 VR grinding. Oh, that's a new one, though, that the audio just went goodbye for a second.
but I had to fix everything after that. It's so easy to go up there, I feel like, and get stuck. Get absolutely soft-locked. This is a crazy track, and I'm absolutely vibing with it. It's a, it's one of those tracks where I feel like higher speed doesn't help it, though. Kind of like how people complain about Neo Bowser City on 200. But then there's those tracks that thrive on fast speeds, like Baby Park. Thrives on 200. But switching to Opera GX has been rough. It's better for my PC. I knew we would end up here at some point. I'm wondering where first place is. What did I even get hit by? Bruh. That ending. I got Mario carded at the end there. I got absolutely Mario carded at the end. But once again, talking about the character model, getting back to that. Like, all the textures and, like, custom details to the model. Like, adding the shell, the horns, the crown. And just, like, how the model was engineered. It looks official. Like, look at that. That looks like Nintendo made it. Obviously, Nintendo didn't make the character. Oh, the Tanuki. That brings back bad memories of Mario Kart 7. And now we get a really good look at the model. And that the hair gets all bugged out. I feel like I've seen that with other mods, though. To where the Mega Mushroom kind of bugs out. I like how the hair actually moves. And it's not, like, rigid. The emblem. Yo! That shortcut! That accidental shortcut. Red Shell Exchange. That, that emblem looks nice, too. That was a cool shortcut. It didn't do much, but... You gotta be kidding me, Kirby. I am not losing this Grand Prix because of you. Or at least I don't want to. I'll take second, as long as I'm still in first overall. I'm probably in, like, second or third overall. I'm in second overall by a long shot. Third place has 18 points. I think we're going on to the last race of the Grand Prix. That first track was so long, and then the second two were just really short. Star Slope, right off the bat, that looks like Minecraft lava and water textures. But I'm excited to see what we're getting ourselves into now. Also, I recommend checking out this mod. It's a fun one. This hurts my brain. This track hurts my brain and my eyes. I have no clue what's happening. The music slaps. But my brain just hurts. <laughs> it's a nice idea. Just... Insane. I don't even know where we're... See, this is another track where rigid turns don't work on like 200 and 250. Obviously, these tracks weren't made for the higher CC. So imagine like 9,000 CC. This track's confusing. Is this a lapse track or sections? See, that emblem looks nice, too. I feel like I'm getting better at this track now. I say that, then I'm gonna just mess up and hit a wall. Just like that. There's parts where the rigid turns are hard to deal with, like there. 
But there's times where I feel like I'm getting better at, like, sharp turn tracks on 200. This is what playing with smart steering feels like. Since I use smart steering in 8 Deluxe. I have to, otherwise I'm just bad at the game. I don't even care I fell off. I am not winning this race. That is for sure. Game over. This is so confusing. This hurts my brain. This track genuinely hurts my brain. And that is... This music slaps as well, but the track itself hurts my brain. How was I in first for a second? Also, now that I'm thinking about it, how have I not seen a, a blue shell the entire episode? Also, you can see some future mod showcases in this lobby, which is pretty cool. Hey, look, it's Kirby, the one who normally passes me. Here we go to the trippy part. Was I able to skip part of the trippy part there? Yes, I was. Now all I need to do is not fall off. I might be able to do well. Let's go. I'll take second. Not bad. I kind of clutched at the end there. But once again, overall, great mod. Shout out to Mad Dog for making it. I got second in this Grand Prix. Not too bad. Let me know what mods you guys want to see for Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii, custom tracks, challenges, etc. That's a silver trophy for the 250cc Bullet Bill Cup. If you guys enjoyed, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace, everybody. Have a great day.